Yes, you good boy. Eat your dinner. Oh, yes. Good morning. So, I'm restarting my YouTube channel. As you can already see, the content's gonna be a little bit different this time. Ooh, it's so bright. I think, I don't know how I'm gonna get this like lighting right when there's so much sun. But, there, okay. Hello, good morning. So yes, I'm restarting my YouTube channel. Okay, come here. Yeah, she's being a brat this morning. So one reason, <laughs> I think it's gonna be really exciting. I want the content to be transparent and intentional. So I thought it'd be a good morning to wake up with me and Cashew. I got my breakfast right here, although I don't think I'll be eating it with Cashew sitting in my lap. But I wanted to just take a few minutes and talk a little bit about my YouTube journey. I think right now I have about 970 subscribers, Literally every single person that subscribed, I've gotten an email for it. I turned on my email notifications. So thank you so much if you have subscribed up until this point. One of the reasons why I stopped YouTube was I prioritized my work above everything else, above my personal life, above my friends and family. I prioritized work as my number one priority in life. I highly don't recommend doing this. It will burn you out. It will take over your life. You essentially will lose sight of yourself and it just won't be a good ending. One thing really important I think I really strive for with it being 2022 is finding balance. And I think my sister is also trying to do I think my sister is also trying to do this. Anyways, that's one of the reasons why I left YouTube. I'm excited to come back and actually make consistent content this time. In the past, I really had no plan. I was just unboxing things, reviewing things, showcasing my life, showcasing fits. Now I really wanna be really more intentional with the content that I produce because I feel like so many influencers, they're not transparent. Probably the few that are, are transparently living their lives as as much as they do want to show is someone like Carlos Harris Jr. I think he does a really good job of showcasing that he really built his own career as a social media influencer, but through that he also released merch, he started his own agency, he has his own office, I believe now in like two different locations it seems like. So I think this is someone that has lived intentionally has created purpose for other people and in so he's built a community and these are really things that i want to do too i feel like i've done these things for companies i've worked a lot in the agency space and as well as being a corporate strategist and i don't know i feel like i've done this in my work and i'm like why haven't i just done this for myself it's almost silly i think also taking a break from content creation i realized how much i love content creation if you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely see that I started posting reels almost every single day. I think maybe there was like one day where I, the day just, I lost track of the day and then it was midnight and I was like, oh, I should just post right now, whatever. So if you follow me on Instagram, I've been creating a ton of outfit of the day reels as well as just other like fun things. But through this small little journey, I have figured out that I do love content creation and I want to go back to YouTube. My original plan actually was to restart my YouTube channel at the end of 2021, but I got really, really sick. And no, it was not COVID. I was in Miami with my mom, my sister, and my husband. And literally on the first night, my body decided to pass a stone. Justin said that it's a gallbladder stone to put it into, I guess, one general term. The most painful experience of my life. As well as my mom and sister also just saw me in screaming agony for about 48, 72 hours, which was the entirety of our vacation, mind you. I was not able to actually eat anything. So anything I showed on Instagram at all of the amazing restaurants we went to, I might have had maybe a Easter bite, if you will, 
before feeling like I was gonna throw up or before actually going ahead and throwing up. <laughs> so anyways, I had actually meant to restart my YouTube channel at the end of 2021. I was in Miami with my family and wanted to essentially vlog that, but then I became in pain and I was like, forget it. I'm just not gonna do it. It's fine, focus on health. It's all good. So then I recover Christmas passes and about to go into the new year and I get sick again. I get a sinus infection from my mom. And yes, it is 100% a sinus infection because we all got tested for COVID so many times and we're all still negative. So it was a true sinus infection. I believe that she actually knows who she might have gotten it from. And she mentioned something basically the entire trip and we all were like, well, we didn't get it. And then of course I got it. It likely was due to having a weak immune system. I had gotten my booster right before we went to the trip and then I passed the stone. And then essentially I thought that my body was so weak that I was unable to ward away my mom's sickness and ended up getting it. And then worst of all, ended up giving it to my husband a few weeks after I had it. Anyways, that sinus infection took me out for about two, two and a half weeks of just unable to do anything. Like the sinus was taking over my head. I was dizzy. I just couldn't do anything. And Justin knows that I was planning to restart my YouTube. I had a ton of other things planned out and then this happened. So he looked me in the eye and he was like, you just need to rest, just rest and take the time to rest. So. I agreed with him and just saw the beginning of 2021 as a way to rejuvenate and restart in a way. I also feel like maybe the universe also sent me a sign that was like avoid Omicron and we're just gonna get you sick but not with COVID and now you're bedridden for two weeks during peak time. Anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit more about why I left YouTube and what I do kind of hope for this channel to be. I want to do a few vlogs. I haven't really figured out what exactly I want to show in the vlogs, but things like this, I definitely want to have a short little brief talk with you guys and just kind of share what's transparently going on in life. So much is so curated by other people that I don't really... See, Cashy doesn't like the curated. Look, I feel like so much is so curated by other people. It's hard to understand what's authentic and what's not. Maybe me living my most authentic life through YouTube will inspire you to do the same. I'm gonna eat this breakfast. It's definitely cold now. And I'll take you guys along the rest of the day. Excited to bring you on this journey. Alexa, stop. Hi, Kasha. Hi. <laughs> Hello, baby. Hi. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. Mommy's home. Yes, mommy's home. Hi, mommy's home. Hi. Say hi. Kasha. So obsessed with me. <laughs> and now he's nice and calm. 
So I got home from Liberty Football, wrote down a couple recap notes that I wanted to include for myself. And now I'm preparing for tomorrow. I was hoping to film an unboxing video, but it's already pretty dark outside. So I wanted to use natural lighting. I still haven't set up my studio equipment just because my apartment gets so much natural lighting. So I didn't get to do that. And now I'm just preparing for essentially the rest of the week, knowing that I have Thursday and Friday. I wasn't able to get to the gym today, so I definitely want to get to it tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Oh, I also reached out to Natalia. Wait, Natalia? I call her Soli Natty because that's, of course, what her Instagram handle is, but I think it's Natalia. Yeah, Natalia. Natalia, I hope you're watching this, and I also hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Anyways, I DM'd her. Love a girl who one loves sneakers, but love a girl who owns her own sneaker boutique. Sorry, sneaker consignment boutique. Anyways, messaged her to find out if I could sell some of my sneakers that I have. I have a ton of shoes that Justin and I are just trying to offload. We have just been sitting on some stuff mainly to we do this thing where we're like, I don't know, got the shoe, kind of like it, kind of don't. It's been hyped up. Let's just sit on it and see if we like it in another month or two. So for example, I went through the sneakers app, one of the Nike Woman Dunks, and I just haven't really been sure if I like the colorway, if I can actually wear it. So going ahead and actually, I think I'm gonna sell it. I hope another female sneakerhead enjoys it more. So I'm just preparing for the day and Justin should be home shortly. So I'm preparing dinner soon.